Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to talk about reptiles. Reptiles is a very big group of animals. The main characteristics of reptiles is that they breathe with lungs and they are oviparous. If you remember what oviparous are, oviparous are those animals that lay eggs. Reptiles lay their eggs on land. That means they don't need the water to develop. They just need to be on land. Even though these two characteristics are very general for reptiles, we can see here, if we look up to our examples, that we have completely different animals. All of them have different characteristics. For example, if we can talk about all of them, Snakes will be the most different ones. Why? Because these animals, all of them have tails, so reptiles have tails, and all of them have very sharp claws. Do you remember this word from English? Yes, very good. They have very sharp claws to help them uh, to catch and hunt their animals and protect against predators. As we can see, snakes are completely different. They don't have tail, they don't have sharp claws. Why? Because they don't have extremities. Instead, they have very strong muscles in their body so they can move around and they can slither across the ground. The rest of reptiles also have very strong muscles because with their legs, they are very strong. They have to uh, drag their body along the ground. Another important characteristic about all reptiles is their skin. We need to talk about their skin because it's very important. Their skin is very thick. It has got scales. Do you remember also this word? Where are scales? So scales. And their skin is impermeable. That means that it protects them, these three characteristics, it, pro it protects them against predators and it protects them, so from predators, and it protects them from drying out. Reptiles live in very hot climates and they live on land. However, some reptiles can live for a long time in water, can spend a long time in water, but they don't need to live in water, they live in land. As we have said at the beginning, we can find very different types of reptiles here. So what we are going to do is we are going to classify them in the different groups that there exist. The first group, it's called it's very a little tricky word is called esquamata. In this group, we can find snakes and lizards. In the second group, that is called testudines, we can find tortoises. And in the last group, that it's called Crocodilia, of course, like the name says, we are going to find crocodiles. So this will be all about reptiles, but first, before we finish, I have a question for you that I need you to answer. Can you tell me please more examples about animals in each group. So can you tell me more example of esquamata, more of testudines and crocodiles? What other animals can we find in these groups? So look for your answers, investigate a little bit and be ready for tomorrow. Have a good day and see you tomorrow.